done. That's right. That's right, guys. The container store. Earlier, we were talking about the high school and grade school experience. You can get a chandelier for your locker. I, I got to tell you, I am absolutely terrified of celery. And just the fact that this there is actually throwing me really off. Anyway, but we're going to move from high school over to college. Oh, they grow up so fast, John. They grow up so fast. Anyway, Julie, tell us, how can we maximize these tiny, cramped college dorm rooms? How can we make them bigger? How can the container store help these poor kids? Well, as we know, dorm rooms are notorious for sure. being very small and tight, shared by multiple people. Sure. So let's start I with had the 16 closet. people in my dorm room. Really? Oh, the smell was oh. awful. Okay, boom, <laughs> the closet, go. So let's start with the closet. You usually have about three to five uh, feet of space shared by two people. Choose hangers that don't take up a lot of space. Okay. Um, so that you can maximize um, the allowed space. Also, add hooks to your hangers Ooh, so nice. that you can there cascade you and get some more use out of your vertical space. Also, your shoe um, holders, uh, you can use them for things other than shoes um, to utilize that vertical space in your closet. How much something like this? Shoe holder, boom, range. Oh, in, oh anywhere from um, 10 to $30, okay. right, some, something like we that. We have a laundry hamper. I can honestly laundry. say I went to Syracuse University, go Orange. I do not remember in four years ever doing laundry. Uh, I think I wore the same pair of jeans. <laughs> I didn't date a lot either. Anyway, Julie, you all right, know, keep you going. You know that most freshmen don't realize that they're going to be doing laundry and they're going to be going up. No and freshman does laundry. laundry. No freshman does laundry. Right. for years. So make sure you have a laundry basket that'll hold your laundry okay. so that you can dig through it and get what you need I really to wear. Don't remember and doing with laundry. handles to carry. And let's talk about bath. Okay. Get a container that's waterproof that will hold all your bath accessories with handles and also has um, holes on the bottle, bottom for drainage. Okay, cool. Um, now, most dorm rooms and apartments don't okay. allow you Come to on put over here. in the wall. Right. So... Um, we have um, we suggest that you use command hooks they have a great adhesive they don't harm your walls and they're easy to remove and reusable all right so okay um, and let's talk about the study area as okay. i don't remember in four go. years i don't remember ever studying or doing laundry for those students that are planning on studying okay um, make sure that Nerds. You keep your um, study space clear so that you have room to spread your work out so we've gone vertical with this set of shelves go vertical Again, i love that it's not attaching to the wall but then you can um, put all of your personal items and additional study materials up off your desk okay go um, vertical go vertical Good make advice. sure you have a really comfortable chair, but not too cozy. All right. um, another thing to th remember, don't forget under the okay. bed storage. Um, we like to suggest pre-packing um, your um, containers, and uh, with this foot locker, it can also serve that. as a coffee table. I love it, Julie. Great job. Container store opens at 9 o'clock today, right across from International Plaza. And we come back later, we're talking more college stuff. The ultimate Packing six steps. Packing for school. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Never did laundry.